A package a day, keep the doctors away. Fa la 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 la. Like, share, and subscribe. We. Today, my friend Amir from Summit Hi-Fi dropped me off this tone winner, AD5100 power amplifier. It's a 599 US 5 channel power amplifier rated at 5 times 100 watts. I originally purchased this to power the 4 ceiling speaker, my MK Sound IC95, in my dedicated home theater. But come to think of it, while I have my amp anyway, I might as well test this amp as my base layer of my 5.1.4 system. Let's see how it fares. Cleanly and nicely packaged. Packed with high density styrofoam. Oh, and guess what? It's Manuel! <laughs> Unpacking the power amplifier further, I unwrapped the plastic and I saw this. The honeycomb structured feet remind me of the old Pioneer Elite amplifiers. Does it work? I don't know. From my personal experience, unless it's a tube amplifier, honestly, I can't tell the difference. But it is a nice touch nevertheless. So here it is, the fascia of Tone Winner AD5100. Sorry about the grainy cam. So here it is again, this time with a lot less grain. And that brush aluminum finish, absolutely astonishing. From the top, you can see the heat sink very clearly. And to the left of that, you can see two large fans. They work variably depending on the temperature of the amp. Here's the picture of the back. RCA inputs all over, five five-way binding posts, with banana plug compatibility and an auto voltage switching power input and a 12 volt trigger input. Yes, there's no XLR input, mostly because of cost factor, but seriously, the distance between your pre pro to your power amp, it's not gonna be more than two or three feet anyway. So there's no advantage in using XLR connection other than for bragging rights. Also included in the package is the AC power, obviously, two prong, two meters, and a pair of RCA cables. And now, let's void my warranty. I took off the top panel of this amplifier and it's rather impressive. You see that giant toroidal power supply? Mmm, donut. And right next to it, you see two cooling fans angled up, blowing towards the oversized solid aluminum heatsink. For merely 599 US MSRP, this type of build quality simply never existed. And I see those amplification ICs connected directly to the motherboard and also connected to the heat sink at the same time in order to dissipate the heat. I'm sure some of you guys know exactly what type of uh, IC or transistors being used over there. So if you do know or you have any inkling whatsoever, please help me identifying them by writing your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you. Meanwhile, well, just enjoy the tour of the inside of the amplifier. As you might already know, I'm currently using Maran's MA500 THX certified monoblocks, rated at 125 watts per channel, employing a small EI transformer. These amplifiers power up my MK Sound S150 THX certified speakers as my base layer. Of course, for the test, I use my Kaleidoscape as the video source, watching all kinds of movies and musicals, such as The Greatest Showman, all the way to Evil Dead Rise. And after I connected my Pioneer Elite SCLX704 to the Tone Winner AD5100 using Vermouth Black Pearl RCA cables, I'm ready to listen to the Tone Winner AD5100. 
Anyone got an accordion? Well, after finish watching a lot of movie and listening to a lot of music, the only thing I can say about this unit is, wow. I mean, I already expected this unit to be good, but I never expected this unit to be better than Maran 7055 at more than double the price. To make it even more surprising, that the quality of this AD5100 is almost as good as my Maran's MA500 THX certified monoblocks, which original price was quadruple the price of the AD5100. And thus, ladies and gentlemen, it makes this unit an absolute winner.